morning children and welcome to your very own Bible study program. Yes, Hooked on Jesus. And today we are going to read from the book of Genesis chapter 44 and 45. So let's get started. But even before we get started, let's pray. Thank you God for this wonderful chapter. That is, these two chapters help us to read and help us to understand through all the programs that we have chalked out and that we will assimilate it and we will use it for your kingdom and also to edify ourselves. I make this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember children, I told you about Joseph that how he was put in jail for things that he did not do. Also, a very long time ago, his brothers also had ill-treated him and sold him off to Egypt. So, Joseph had been through a very, very bad time. But all that ended when he was put in charge by Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. And he became the second most powerful man in all the Egypt, all because he had one gift from God. And do you know what was that? Yes, interpreting dreams. He could tell about what God said about dreams. So Pharaoh also told him about his dream and he told him exactly what could be done. And so because of that, Joseph was able to save Egypt from famine. Famine means there was absolute dryness. All the plants and animals died and there was no food. But because Joseph could interpret the dreams, only Egypt had food. And people from all around the country came and bought food from them. And that's when Joseph's brothers also come to him. Now, as we look at this video, children, we will see that how Joseph, who had not seen his brothers for a very long time, was suddenly very angry looking at his brothers and he wanted to teach them a lesson. Let us find out how he taught them a lesson and finally, what does he do with them? So let's watch this video. Now children, let me tell you, we have not made this video, but we have taken this video from YouTube only for educational purpose. Its link and description has been sent below. So enjoy. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. But he had 11 brothers who hated him and sold him into slavery. Yeep. After being put in jail, Joseph told of the future of Egypt when he interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. And Joseph found favor with the Pharaoh. The Pharaoh made Joseph a leader in his kingdom. Just as Joseph had told the Pharaoh, Egypt had seven years of abundance. Then the seven years of abundance came to an end and the seven years of famine began, hmm. just as Joseph had said. But the Egyptians had food to eat because Joseph had planned for the famine. There was famine in all the other lands and many came to Joseph to buy food. There was even a famine in the land that Joseph came from. So when Israel heard that there was grain in Egypt, he sent his sons to buy some. Yeah. But Israel did not send Benjamin with the others Aww. because he was afraid that harm might come to him. When Joseph's brothers came to him, Joseph recognized them. <laughs> but he pretended to be a stranger. Aha! So Joseph decided to test his brothers. 
them. He had his interpreter tell them to send for Benjamin, who had stayed home. Him. And then he threw his brothers in jail for three days. On the third day, Joseph let all but one of the brothers take grain to their starving households with the instruction to bring Benjamin back. But Joseph provided for his brother's journey and gave them grain and silver. The brothers did exactly as Joseph instructed, as they were scared that God was punishing them for what they had done to Joseph so many years before. They traveled home to their father's house, Yippee! then back to Egypt. Now that he had seen that they brought Benjamin, Joseph was overwhelmed. So he released the brother who was still in prison. Yeah. But Joseph decided to play one more trick on his brothers. He sent the brothers away but told his servant to hide his silver cup in Benjamin's bag. Then Joseph told the servant to go after the brothers and retrieve the cup. The brothers hadn't traveled far before the servant stopped them and accused them of stealing the cup. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Joseph could no longer control himself before his attendants. He made them leave so he could be alone with his brothers, and he told his brothers who he really was. Ta-da! He told them of his life and all he had experienced, and he forgave them for what they had done. God was with Joseph and took care of him and showed him favor. Now, children, did you enjoy that video? There are certain things that I would like to discuss with you. First that Joseph was blessed in the land in which he was sold. He began his life as a slave. He was put in prison. But in prison, he learned to depend on God through all his hardship that he went through. Sometimes in life, we are badly treated. Don't feel bad, children. God is being close to us. Learn to put things in God's hands and God will work things out for you. You can trust God and not only that, God will bless you with all kinds of blessings and favors just as how he blessed our Joseph. And Joseph used his talents that God blessed him with. And it only came through prayer, children. Learn to pray and put everything in God's hands. And God will use your spiritual gifts to bless you even more and the people around you. Second thing is what? Even if sometimes, you know, we feel bad that people ill treat us and we want to teach them a lesson. Here, Joseph also did that. We can relate to that because we all feel that, don't we? Even when our brothers and sisters don't treat us nicely, we also want to teach them a lesson and we complain to our parents. And if we are not happy how our parents are uh, giving them punishment, we also continue to punish them or to say something rude to them just to make them feel bad. But at the end of it, what happened, children? Joseph, when he heard that his father and his brothers were going through such a bad time, they did not have food to eat and how his father was suffering and how his father was sad because he missed him. So Joseph understood that all the problems that he had undergone, God had sent him to Egypt so that they, his brothers and sisters and everyone, all his children, nieces and nephews could have food to eat. Imagine children, if he would have stayed back in his father's land, there would have been no food. But God used his talents to get food, not only for Egypt, but also for his brothers. Isn't that wonderful? Come on now, children. Let us pray and ask God to help us forgive all the people that have hurt us, especially first our family members and then our friends. Yes, Lord Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for this beautiful lesson, for teaching us through the life of Joseph, that no matter what happens in our life, 
you hold our life in your hands and you have great plans to prosper us and when we put things into your hands and when we forgive people you will bless us more and you will use that pain to even bless us further and to learn from it yes lord jesus we forgive all those who have hurt now you may forgive all those people that have hurt you and do your best in every situation children now it's time for bible trivia that is the question now can you tell me in which land was joseph put in charge or he was second in charge of everything think and let us know now it's time to go to samantha she has prepared for us beautiful art and craft work so over to samantha to take us through the lovely art and craft work so samantha over to you hello guys welcome to the art section of today's session my name is samantha and for today's artwork you would require really simple things you will require some a pen and a pencil you could use a marker a pair of scissors some cardboard or paper and some crayons so let's get started so firstly i have placed a paper here and on top of that i have just kept my feet because i want a footprint like i want the outline of my feet so after you all have kept a feet of yours on a cardboard paper slowly using a pencil draw the outline of your feet all the way around and i will meet you next when we get a nice footprint now we have a beautiful footprint of us now what we are going to do is cut this footprint okay Now as you all saw in the story that Joseph forgave his brothers and after all that his brothers did if you all heard the previous story you all heard all that Joseph's brothers did for Joseph and they sold him and even after doing so much Joseph still forgave his brothers at the end and we need to learn to forgive people around us and why did And why did all this happen? Why did Joseph have to sell? Joseph's brother sold him, and then he went all the way to Egypt and all. See, God had a plan. God knew what was going to happen and required Joseph to be in Egypt so that Joseph can help his brothers when the famine came, and then they didn't have food, and so his brothers had to reach there. If Joseph would not have been there, then. would the whoever was ruling there would they have seen the brothers and favored them no maybe we don't know but god had a plan so sometimes even if you think you know and you want to do something in life you can but god will choose the path you take and He knows what's best for you. He has created you so beautifully and you are a part of his big plan. There you go. Our feet is done. Look, so pretty. If you have small feet and the memory verse which we are going to write in the middle doesn't fit on your cardboard, you can make your small feet side and you can write the memory verse in the middle of it okay but the memory verse is very small and it applies to this story that we are going to see you can pause this video while the memory verse comes in front of you i'm going to write here with pencil in the meantime okay
So there we have written our memory verse. And I'm going to use pink color here to color this white portion. You can leave it just as it is. But I'm just going to add some color. And there we will get back. Yep. And there we finish. So I've colored pink. And what it says is in his heart a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his step. Proverbs 16 verse 9 Okay, I hope you all enjoyed today's session of the word, the video and the art. So see you all next Sunday. Bye! If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.